Okay, just to prove a concept, we're going to actually just start with my top view of the paint and plane setup that I use. We're going to delete that uh, whole thing. Shift S cursor to center. We'll turn on the artist paint tools just because we're going to use this for getting our canvas and camera. Import canvas. I'm going to go to desktop. Pick a really cool picture. Lovely. Camera to get the camera in position. Now you'll see that the camera is fixed to the canvas. It's in ortho, so it matches up exactly to get us our pixels. Now we're going to actually shift to object mode because we're going to deselect. For right now, we want this to be uh, just to stay here in the center. I want to add a mesh plane, scale it down, and then I'm going to go into edit mode. X those vertices. We're going to scale on X until we get it to our edge. We're going to put this here just for right now. This is just like I said, a proof of concept. Then W to subdivide it. And then object mode will change Alt C to curve. And the curve tools take 2D, will fill deformed, come up with some bet some depth just so we can see it. Material, gonna make it uh, shadeless white for uh, for now. Maybe let's make it like a bright orange or something so we can see it. Let's go into edit mode with this center selected. Let's go to curve, control point, hooks, hook to new object, and then we're going to go to object mode, select that object, which is that empty. Let's chain that, change that to sphere, scale it down. back to our camera view. Now if we just move this, credit goes to Douglas Jotblad for giving me the idea of what we could do with this. This is pretty good. Alt G to put it back to center. Now I'm going to right click my canvas and go back to texture paint mode. And I'm going to make my stroke a line stroke. I'm going to set my brush pretty small. I'm going to right click my um, deal here and I'm going to position it like that. Right click here and I'm going to set a line. Right click, bring this down. You actually have a way to draw some interesting perspective lines really quickly. Although I'm not sure about some of the other points, you might need to be able to put a control point for the horizon line, something to drop the horizon line down or something because really want to be able to draw across the other way but this is a pretty good little tool okay I'm going to work on how to generate this from the panel and make it to where you can work with it and it'll it'll be the same deleted as soon as you delete the uh, the session but that's that's it that's all it was um, thanks Doug that gave me something to think about now bye